New updates are always fun because they give us new things to play with. It. Like over here, we have geodes. That should give us some good things as long as we get enough money. And so we just do what we can by going to the mine, turning on the auto clicker, and then having a day of it. Making sure we stick with the biggest payout blocks we can. And I forgot I had a bomb. But that just means we'll get to mine all these blocks out quicker. And this auto clicker is going at the fastest possible speed. So you know it's a good block when it takes a little bit to mine it. But now our blocks are full, so we need to go unload. And now we can sell. For 21,000. But these are rookie numbers. 22,000's not much better. But if we come over here to where this little shrine is, then we can go and grab this, which automatically sells a bit of our backpack every 10 seconds. And then we can also get a crit on the blocks. We can also pour all of our lucky charms into this upgrade here for even more block value. So now the blocks sell for twice as much. And we are already critting on some of those. I would imagine there's gonna be a lot of crits since we're clicking at one millisecond every time. And we get to level six for another one of those fancy upgrades gems and some diamonds auto selling for nice amounts might as well just manually sell for a little bit and the bomb just fell down to the center of the earth that's fun and as long as we can stay ahead of the auto selling it should result to be passive income and i love critting on those solid blocks so we can get them right away because they're worth so much more and now we're at 300,000. the first geode is a million so that's where we're gonna get to and now we've mined out so much of this the game is actually telling me to reset i don't want to do that quite yet there's still plenty of expensive blocks to get and of course more bombs go off when i have a full backpack let's just get rid of all that an impossible cave should be too bad for us except it's just super dark but with the power of auto clicks we can keep away all the baddies while not being able to hear a single thing and they give us a lot more money and we get to crit on these resources as well i really should crit on the baddies though i may have forgotten to get that upgrade ah and these ones are launchers you are not nearly as fun but problems are taken care of and then we just get rid of more monsters fill out the five minutes that we have Ooh, lots of resources are here over here oh and bombs do get dropped in here interesting if only there were baddies around to be subjected to the bombs oh hello would you like to be subjected to a bomb Probably not. I'll just keep going down the winding path that is this cave here. Find some more rainbow rocks. And we're auto selling in this cave. And look at how much we're getting out of that. 50,000. And we get roughly a thousand for every monster kill, which is always fun. Although those launchers are definitely the meanest because they can actually hurt me. Just gotta keep working through this and get as much money as we can. And make sure that auto sell always has blocks to get rid of. Because my goodness, these blocks are expensive. And we're already up to 800,000. Ooh, lots of blocks in here. Excellent. The auto sell will have a field day with this. 98,000 on that one cell. We're almost to a million already. And we still have two and a half minutes left in this cave. I'm also not finding any blocks for a while. There's one and another. How about some more? Yes, very good. And there we have it. We over a million money. Now we can afford a geode. We'll just finish out this cave and see how much more we can get. It definitely seems like all the monsters got taken care of, but now it's starting to seem like I've been through every single cave because the blocks have stopped showing up. And also all these turns are looking very familiar. So, oh, hey, look at that, a monster. Haven't seen one of you for a while. I thought you were extinct. Well, you are now. Ooh, more blocks appear. Yay. With 30 seconds left, can we get all of this? Ooh. Ooh, there's a lot here. Give me the money. Show, Show me, me the money. money. Show me death. Yeah. Ha ha. Ooh, rainbow rocks. I love these. So that's all we can get out of this cave. Oh, one more. So we got an extra quarter of a million out of that. Very good. Now it's time to get ourselves a geode and also turn off the auto clicker because I forgot I had that on. A pink quartz geode. We get one of these. Aha. Open it. Bust it open. After manually clicking a whole bunch. Come on, just crack open. Oh, there it is. Ooh, treasure obtained. A platinum treasure key. Wow, another one. And a diamond treasure key. Ooh, I could take these over to the chest. But also really quick, there is this refinery here. What recipes can I start? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Though it looks like I can take resources and pound them into keys, so that's always good. But let's just go ahead and get some crates. Open two of these platinum ones. See what we get? 25 cell orbs. Wow. And the other one. Ooh, platinum treasure keys. We can, so we can roll some more. And get some medium money bags. And a big gem bag. How about that? And that's never mind the diamond treasure key we have. What do you give us? A platinum treasure and key. Scammer, oh, scam, this buddy. is my lucky day. Open another platinum one. And some more cell orbs. Not too sure what to do with those, but we'll open up the money bags. Get some easy money from those. We're almost back up to a million. And the big gem bag. Very nice. And then the cell orbs. Probably so we can sell from wherever we're at. But that's what the auto sell is for. And then we could crit on the monsters, but they really don't pose too much of a threat. Oh, what does it say? Automatically replaces your lowest valued blocks if you mine a more valued block when your bag is full. At least I think that's what it says. The text is kind of cut off. Or we automatically sell more of the bag. I think replacing the lower valued blocks is going to be good for us. Excellent. And let's just get a bigger backpack. And we can also afford a small chance to find a token bag or a money bag. Token bag as well, but money bags are better for me. So we have a 0.14% chance to find one. Let's just get some long arms too, because why not?
lot. And we can almost afford the next mine. We might as well buy another quest slot. Open bronze treasures. Can't really do that. Our backpack size is 720. There's no way I'm going to be able to fill this with the auto cell going. Unless like a lot of bombs go off. Oh, or I level up. And we get another upgrade point. And then buying this mine. So we get blocks that are worth even more money. It means we don't get the geode as fast. But that's okay because we'll make up that money in a short while. Especially with even more bombs going off. Ooh, and a dark mine just opened. Now's a chance to make a lot of money. It's another impossible one, so you know it's gonna be good. Just need to clear out all of the monsters. Ow, that one actually hit me. Go away. And all of you go away. I'll just stand here for a little bit. Run into my sword of death. Auto cell is working very nicely. Casually making 43,000 on auto cell. Ah, you again. Go away. You're so rude. And just clearing out entire rooms of the gemstones inside. Getting rid of the shooter without taking any damage that time. I like it. The whirlwind of death never fails. If only the monsters gave just a little bit more money. But we'll be able to empty our pockets of the blocks and then get lots of money soon enough. Especially if I find the big rooms with lots of blocks in them. This expedition isn't going nearly as good. I have three and three quarter minutes left and I'm only at six HP. This is not good. As long as I don't run into one of those shooters, I should be good though. Ooh, and find the big gemstone rooms like this. Selling for 90,000. I like it. Just a few more of these. And we hit a million. We're also almost to the next level. Probably just one more block or two. And there it is. Exactly one block away. Excellent. And that seems to be it for this cave. And time to buy another geode. Now there is this thing we could start. It takes an hour and we could turn this pink geode into a volcanic one. But there's a good chance of failure. Not today. Might as well just turn on the auto clicker to get through opening this one. And you give us... Ooh, a limitless sigil. What do you do? A large money bag. Oh, another one and a platinum key excellent what do you do choose an upgrade to push beyond so we can increase the max level of our upgrades i see by exactly one point and it is any upgrade we could increase the max level to might as well just put it into something like backpack because i really don't know what else i could do with it and money bags oh my goodness a million from that a million and a half and two Wow, another two and a half million from the other one. I like this. That means we could get even more geodes. And now the guy's out of stock. Well, might as well just open these. Another limitless sigil, a platinum treasure key, and a pet egg. What? And that was just the first one. Give me more. A large gem bag, another sigil, and another platinum key, and a diamond key. Third time's a charm. Platinum key, a large token bag. Ooh. And that's all there was. How many tokens do we get from that? 10,000. Pretty good. And then large gem bag, 24 gems from that. More sigils. How about a sharper axe and more valuable blocks? So now we have a pet egg here. Can we open you up? Unlock the first pet. Oh, it's a little mouse. Look at you. What do you even do? There's a little pet guy over here. Tell me what my mouse does. Picks up and brings nearby items to its owner. Well, I might as well equip you. Oh, look at that. I got a little mouse friend. Look at his little feet running around. Oh, that's adorable. Not sure what items he's supposed to bring to me, but hey, crates. First platinum key gives us, whoa, a lively dungeon key. Hello. Two large token bags. Ooh, there's pet eggs in here. Give me one of those. Oh, I could take a divine mystery gift. That sounds fine. And another large token bag. Oh, times two. And gem bags. I don't know why I keep saying token bags. But now we have a diamond key. Let's open this. And we get a medium token bag. Very good. I just crank these open. 13,000. 37,000. Pretty much 38,000. And then finish off that. And then the large gems. And a divine mystery gift. What could be in here? Oh, a gold treasure key. I like it. Because we get more things from that. Like another gem bag. Yay. So now there's the dungeon key that we have, which allows us to enter the lively land. Oh, and it's just a straight up dungeon. No mining involved here. And there's 40 monsters to kill and we have 15 minutes to do so. Oh, and they're right there. Hello. Turn on the auto click. Yes. Oh, and they also have divine gifts with even more goodies inside. I love this. 40 monsters is going to be no problem at all. And the little mouse grabbed the present. Oh, I love him. I love him so much. Ah, get out of me. They're coming at me a little faster now, but not fast enough to outpace the auto clicker, which is good. I might as well just stay here if they're going to run up to me. Ah, but they hurt a little bit still. I'll just stay right here, wait for you to get close, and then lawnmower your face. Another divine gift. This dungeon is the best thing ever. Ow. At least the monsters don't hurt too bad. And that's monster monster number 30 almost done here and it's only been two and a half minutes just stay away okay he has awoken uh oh oh no i think i just found a boss somewhere where is the boss hello i'm just ignoring all the little guys for now i want to find where the boss is oh there he is he's large and in charge all right then just uh clear out all those minions i didn't realize how much money they gave and okay big guy ow ow okay he hurts a little bit just keep your distance there buddy buddy old pal old awoken one just let me clear out all your minions so i can make a lot of money and my mousy friend can pick up a lot of gifts that seems to run away from him where is it going <laughs> 
Come on, little mousy boy. You can get it. You can get it. Get the gift before he runs away from you. Oh, you got it. Oh, good job, little friend. Okay, now I need to turn on the auto clicker and run this way so I can clear out some more of you. I've taken out 60 monsters now. And I need these little guys to clear out so the big guy can start gaining some hits. There we go. He's down to about half now. I would like to take you out before the timer goes out. So I could just sit here like this while it happens. Ah, but more of your minions show up. Not okay. Uh-oh, this is the corner. Well, this might be actually a good place to go because... Ah! Okay, never mind. <laughs> I didn't realize I could push through my knockback. Ah, that was fun. More divine gifts out of it. Ooh, a new skin. Hello. More gems, more tokens, more tokens. And some of these smaller gifts here. An alchemist bundle. What do you do? Whoa, potions. I have no idea what these do. Let's just open more things. Ooh, bronze treasure keys. And a new skin for the pickaxe. Very good. And more keys. Wow. Might as well just open them up. And we get a silver key out of it. Very good. A thousand money. And another thousand money. So the quest man should be very happy with us. Hello. Claim you. And then we get a bronze key out of it. Wow. Let's just sit here and open the rest of the keys. Time for the silver keys. Oh, that was almost a divine gift, but it's just a basic one. And a money bag. So now we get to open some diamond treasure. 500 tokens from that. One of the low end prizes, it seems like. And another 500 tokens. What kind of cheapskate is this? Let's just open the platinum ones. This is guaranteed to be good. Yes, two large money bags. Let's just open those right away. Now we have 5 million money. And open that gem gift and <laughs> more alchemist kits. Oh my goodness, so many potions. I don't even know what they do. Strength potions. Moderately more damage to enemies. Attacks and mine slightly faster. Oh, these have been really good for the dungeon. And I accidentally took one, so now I'm extra strong. Whoops. That's fine. Let's just open another bronze chest for a cool 1,000 money. And I have a lot of gems, so I could just open another quest slot and another one. And then I can take these pink things over here to the shrine, Dealy Bob. Now, there are some other things I haven't even started to tap into yet, like the nuker or the slammer to remove an entire layer. So I can get away with buying one of these for a small chance, and I can't get that anymore. Oh, the minerals. This is how we get the recipes. Ah, but they take too long. Let's just get a small chance for the nuker going as much as we can, and then more chances for the bombs. So now there's at least a 1% chance, which is good, and then more valuable blocks. And we actually can buy the Q mine since, and the RS, since the guy's out of the pink geodes, might as well get started getting some more expensive blocks, and go. <laughs> I love seeing a mine so fast. So what I'm hoping for, since there's a non-zero chance for the nukes and the slammer, oh, like there, it just worked. Excellent. Now I just need to wait for the nuke to go off. But the slammer seems to be doing more of the work, probably because there's a higher chance for the slammer. I just know when that nuke goes off, it's going to be glorious. And now we can get through pretty much the entire mine, one layer at a time. And the little mouse is just following me around. He's so happy to be here. And we're starting to fill our backpack pretty regularly now. And there's so many bombs going off. I love it. Now we have three different color blocks in here. Interesting. Reset the mine. I don't really want to do that yet. There's so many blocks down here to get through. And we're getting very close to level nine. And level nine is ours. And since I have so many of those pink gems, there's something I've been wanting to do with them that I kind of forgot about. I wanted to come over here and increase the chance of all the powers by 1% just by default, and then 2.5%, and then increase the chance even more by 5%, and then also equip some of these skins. I've worked pretty hard for these. Ooh, a cartoony pickaxe. I kind of like the look of that. And then also get some health regen for the dungeons next time. And increase the chance of the nuke a little bit more. And I might as well get the tokenable blocks upgrade a few more times. So we can get even more upgrades in the future. <laughs> and our cartoon pickaxe is massive. I love it. So the power should be happening a lot more often. Because we just increased the chance by 5%. And to be fair, I'm not entirely sure if the slammer or the bomb count as powers. Or if they're just a thing that happens. I'm just toiling the days away in the mine. Critting all of the blocks in existence so I can get a bunch of money and find money bags and blow up more of the mine and more of the mine and then slam some more of it. I love it when the powers work together. I don't even know if they are the powers. I already said that. At least now our block income is shooting into the positive. Now we have 2 million money. Just need a little bit more and then we can unlock the next mine. Unless the geo guy reset, but I'm pretty sure that's a once a day thing. Ooh, another dark mine just opened. It's time to make a lot of money. But before we do that, maybe it's good to get some of these upgrades. Okay, our health Gen is maxed out. Maybe we should get some more max health, just a little bit. Upgrade some of our weapons for more knockback, I think. And more loot multiplier, yes. Spend $10, easy, easy. Just need to go to the impossible ruins first. Uh, ooh, look at these. It's so bright and shiny. I'm gonna turn on the auto clicker again. Okay, and the enemies are right here and they mean business. 
Thankfully, so do I. And oh gosh, there's a lot more shooters. Eh, go away. Maybe I get this so I'm stronger so I can deal more damage. Yes, that's working. And the health regen is working too. Need to clear out all of you. Very good. Oh, the potions work so good together. Yes, get rid of you. Ha ha. And now I can get busy clearing out all of these harvestable blocks. That doesn't mean I won't mine up every block in existence though. I also seem to be rid of all the monsters, which is good for me. And even if I can't afford a geode, I can't afford the next couple of mines. Too bad I can't harvest the snowman. What's he doing here? It's the middle of June. And there's more snowmen. What's going on here? You ain't welcome around these parts no more. When they say impossible ruins, they must mean impossible to get all these blocks. I don't even know where all of them are. And this is a big area. Hey, but at least being down here gives us another level up. And now we're level 10. Excellent. And I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I've searched every corner of this place and found all the ores to mine. So I'm just gonna leave early. I got things to do. And then use all the allotted money to buy more of the mines to level T. Ooh, with a lot of pink blocks. Before that though, I'll get this upgrade that duplicates the crit blocked. And this bomb is a great way to start down here. And we just get to have a lot more progress thanks to the power that the geos have given us. Oh my gosh, there's so many bombs. Wow. <laughs> I love seeing so many bombs go off. This is the best day ever. Our backpack filled up halfway from that. Wow. So the lesson learned here is that the geos give us so many amazing things that we can do so many new things with them. Oh, look at that. We have a full backpack now. And oh, it just got sold. Come on, I gotta get that back. I wanna see what a full backpack sell looks like. And do it. Ooh, 169,000. Nice. I definitely wouldn't have been able to get as far as I did without the geode. So make sure you guys check out the new Eternal Mine update. Thank you very much for watching and sub to intern. I'd also like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Dakota C, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Stuffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, The Real Nickname, Edward, Hateful Herald, Todd M, and Peggy Sue.